Hello, and today I'll be showing you guys how to install the Witherstorm mod into Minecraft. If you're installing the server side, so you're hosting the server, watch the next clip. If you're not, and you're just trying to install it so you can play on single player or play on a server with it, go to the time on the screen right now. Alrighty guys, so I'm showing you how to get the server side set up. First thing you want to do though is you're going to want to go into the description down below and install the Crackers Witherstorm mod. And it's going to be on Spigot MC. And then you're going to click the download button right here, or wherever it says download for this mod. Once the download begins, wait for it to download. Once the Witherstorm mod downloads, you're going to want to move, actually you're going to close this tab. Second thing you want to do is go into the description down below and go to... Second thing you guys want to do is go to the description down below and go to Forge's official page and download the latest version of Forge. Remember, we're setting up, we're setting up the server version of this. Now, don't just click download here. Be careful because it says, please wait two seconds. This is just an ad. Then click the skip button located in the top right of the screen. Then your download will start. After you've done both of those, Click on this button located right here. This is your file explorer. Click on your file explorer, then put it on top of your tab so it opens in full screen. Then go to downloads. Now both of your installers, so your forge installer and your witherstorm mod are now installed. Move the tab over here. Highlight both of these by left clicking below it and then scrolling up or on the sides. Then left click and drag them onto the screen. Next thing you want to do is you're going to want to right click, go to new, and go to folder. This will be the name of your server. Name it to whatever you want. Witherstorm mod server is what I named, named my server. Now I'm going to go open forge, which is on my home screen. Now you're going to click install server, and then click on these buttons right here. Since I made a folder on my desktop, I'll be going to desktop, then going to Witherstorm and mod server and clicking open. Once doing that, you'll click OK and wait for it to get installed. Once they're done, it'll say successfully downloaded Minecraft server and installed 1.19 Forge. You're going to click OK, then double click on Witherstorm mod server. You'll see that there is a library section, a run, a run.sh, and a user underscore JVM underscore args. After doing that, I'm going to right click on, or left click, then right click on run and click open. This may pop up. If this does pop up, Go back here and remove both of these. Only if that pops up. If that is just fine. The server is just going to use all of, or half the RAM off your computer. That just means that your computer is not able to, to pretty much run that kind of file. Next thing you want to do is left click and right click again and click on open. If this happens and it just blinks, click enter. Now all of this may pop up. That is completely okay. Now once this happens, you're going to want to click enter again or any key in your keyboard. And you'll see that now there's some files that have popped up. Go to your e ULA and turn your e ULA from false to true. And then close it and make sure you save the document. And if it, if it opens in like Google or something, right click on any of these files and click open with and then go to notepad. You can even click choose another app and then choose notepad. Once you've done that, go to your mods folder, which is now appeared here. And go take your witherstorm mod and copy it and paste it into your server config uh, mods file. Now we have installed the server version of the witherstorm mod. Now in order to start your server just double click on the run little thing that pops up in the file explorer. In order to install the player version which is what everyone on your server will have to install or to play on single player and just like load up with the witherstorm in general listen to these next following directions. So for, next thing you're going to do is you're going to close your actual folder and now go to Forge. And we're going to double click on this again. This time we're going to be installing under a client. Make sure Minecraft is downloaded and has already been opened. And if it doesn't show anything here, make sure you go to where your Minecraft is located and make sure you open in .minecraft. 
then click OK and wait for it to install. Hi guys, we need to mention something in our video for one second. ProMC Hosting. What is ProMC Hosting? ProMC Hosting is an online service where they host their own Minecraft servers for you. They can host modded servers, regular servers, and all you do is pay monthly. Their prices are super low compared to any other prices online. I'll show some prices on the screen. Hopefully you guys were enjoying the video, and if you guys do want someone to host the server for you, just give me a DM. My Discord is on screen currently. Hit me up, and we can get something all sorted out. Hopefully you were enjoying the video. And hopefully, you will continue enjoying the video and think about ProMC hosting. Enjoy the rest of your video. This may take a while because you're installing it on your side. Okay, once it's installed, it'll say successfully installed client instead of server. And then just click OK. Next thing you want to do is do Windows R. So this pops up. Or we'll go to the bottom right and right click and click run. Then, at the bottom left, you're going to type in percent symbol, which is shift 5, app data percent. Then you click OK or enter. Once you do that, if your Minecraft has been open before, meaning that you've installed Minecraft and that kind of stuff, you've played Minecraft before, you can click on your .minecraft folder and you'll see all of these folders. If you do not have a mods folder, which most people probably do not if you've just been learning how to install one of these before, you're going to right click and you're going to go to new. Go to folder and type in mods. All not caps, alright. I obviously already have one, so I'm not going to be doing that. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to want to go into your mods folder and drag and drop the wither storm into your mods folder. Once you've done that, you're actually almost good to go. Make sure you can start up your game by just opening Minecraft by clicking on the brand new icon, which is stupid Minecraft version of Minecraft now. So open Minecraft. Once Minecraft is open in the bottom left, you should see it installed. If not, go ahead and find it. I can see the 1.18.2 Forge is installed. I'm going to click play. Now, as you guys can see, when you load up into your game, this will pop up right here. Windows Defender Firewall has blocks and features in this app. It might show the JDK feature. This might not even pop up on your screen, but if it does, just click cancel. You don't even have to install it if you want. Now, if this did actually work, you'll see that if you do have JDK installed, obviously. And if you have four, and it should say Forge, Minecraft, MCP, three mods loaded, pretty much, basically, something like that. Might even say two mods loaded, not really sure. Next thing you want to do is click on Minecraft, and you're going to want to start your server, which I won't be doing now, though, because I can't. And then you're going to want to go to Direct Connect here and type in local host. For people that know that how port forwarding and stuff works, go ahead and you can port forward this by going to the config file there and changing the server port. And pretty much you can type in your IP and your port. For people who do not understand how this works, um, once you do install this, you'll have to run this folder, right? This this is your server right here. This is your, ser your server files, okay? You'll run this right here, and this will start your server and load up that command prompt. You cannot close the command prompt or else your server will close and possibly corrupt due to how it works. Now, in order for people to basically play on your server, they must have the same mod installed by doing the following. If you want to send people a video on how to install the mod, I'll have a I'll have a video link down in the description down below on just how to install um what do they call it the Witherstorm client side. Basically, long story short though, j to install it on on players' ends, they have to pretty much just install Forge and put the Witherstorm mod in their mods folder. That's it. So once the server's running, you could either join by putting in uh, your IP. Or putting in your IP and then the port that that's set, or all sorts of different ways that you can go check out on YouTube and look that up, if you really want to get into that. Um, if you host it on your network, let's say your uh, computer, you just type in local host, all one word, and then you join. Obviously, my, my server's not hosted, though. This does work in single player completely just fine, which I'll actually load up a world right now, just to prove it. Now, once you load into the game, you'll see that there's going to be a house right next to you. This is the house where the Wither Storm will spawn. The Wither Storm by the end of the game will consume over three, or either three or thirty million blocks. Not really sure. Kind of a big difference, but I should probably know, but I don't really know. 
I don't recommend using other mods while using the Wither Swarm mod. It's kind of it's kind of its own thing, and sometimes a little bit buggy. Now, in order to spawn the actual Wither, all you have to do is hop into Survival. Make sure the difficulty is set to at least easy, normal, or hard. I'll be just setting it to hard, just in case. Breaking the Wither Skull set right here, and placing on top. As you can see, the Wither Swarm has been summoned. It had seven different stages that you can read about all online. The actual creator of the Wither Swarm, which is obviously not me under any circumstances, has a video that is linked and showed, and I can, I'll can i put it in the description down below. Alright guys, I had about five more minutes of this video that, that are laid out, that are just that just talk about the stages of the Wither Swarm and everything that's in the, um, the video and everything, basically. But I felt like the creator needed some, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe my five views. So, in the, in the description down below, there's a section called All About the Wither Storm. If you go to that video right there, that's the, that is the creator's video that shows everything about the Wither Storm. If you go there, you can learn about Super TNT and all that kind of stuff. But I will show Super TNT on screen, because that was really cool. You can use the 4-Minute Bomb and Super TNT, just don't recommend it in early stages, because it kind of just, you know, you know, it, it's one of those things where, like, can sometimes crash the server if not put big enough. You will die if you're in, like, a thousand block radius of this. Or at least 100, 200, something like that. As you can see, it's about to explode, and all, everything's turning red and blue and yellow, and we should probably back up a little bit. That looks very explosive. Once everything explodes, the screen will turn white. You'll hear lots of sound, everything exploding. And if you do die, you will die. Um, if you if you are too close, I believe everyone's screen will turn white. Though you'll never know that you die until it's too late. As you can see, when you first put off the Fermata bomb at the exact right time, it will kill the Wither Storm. As you can see, instead of targeting the Wither Storm, it didn't kill the Wither Storm. It actually killed everything around it. This is what the Fermata bomb did. Now listen up. This is the end of the video. All right, and you gotta understand that. But at the same time, all right, I mean, y'all should go check out Proem Suggesting, but you guys are at the very end of the video, right? You guys means that you guys actually watched the video, and you guys listened, and you guys enjoyed it. So if you guys want to see more, please subscribe, guys. We just reached around 200 and I think 20 subs, and it's just an insane amount of subs right now. I mean, look at this. I even got so good at editing, I can make this look like a cat. Boom. Like, what? I... <laughs> really though guys i really would appreciate if you guys would sub guys it means so much i am kind of a small youtuber but i do enjoy doing tutorials for people and it just means so much when people sub and like the video so if you guys don't want to sub because you think that i'll spam your inbox i only post like once or twice a week and really it would just mean a lot if you don't want to though like i said you can just like the video that's all i want a simple itty bitty like just like the video guys hopefully you guys did all enjoy and hope you guys do enjoy the rest of this video cat photo right there boom bang I will see you guys in another video.